Walmart cake makeovers. That's what we're doing today, you guys. We're taking three Walmart cakes and turning them into three animated characters. This is my new favorite thing. Now make sure you leave your cake ideas in the comments and let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to Quali Pops. My name is Jafar and today we're doing some Walmart cake transformations. Cake transformation or cake makeover? Which one is the more trending? way to save it. We'll find out in the title. I'm having a ton of fun making cake makeovers. I've already started on the next six because I want to do three for each video and they're all cakes that you've requested either on Instagram, TikTok, or on YouTube. Now the cakes that we are creating today I was supposed to create separate videos for them but I'm going to be trying something different for the next few weeks and these videos kind of lead into that. So let's get started. The first cake we're going to be decorating is Genie. So today we are transforming a Walmart vanilla birthday cake into the genie from Aladdin. The first thing I'm going to do is just cut away the side so I can start to create the genie shape. Then I'm going to take away all of my buttercream and a little bit of the cake and then add on my homemade genie blue buttercream. I'm going to cover my entire cake, create the basic shape, and then I started to carve. So I'm creating the inside of his mouth first and then I just started to work on all of his other features. Like, oh, and now it's time for my best friend. I use a makeup applier to smooth out the genie's skin texture and then I added all of my fun features. So his whole mouth as well as his goatee and his top knot. I'm going to finish this cake by creating his eyes and his eyebrows and voila, my genie was complete. What do you think? Should I make Aladdin or Jasmine next? I'd also like to make Iago um, or Jafar or or maybe even that like the sand black panther thing that comes out of the sand. Now recently I've been doing a lot of realistic face cakes and I dodged a bullet because I was gonna do Will Smith's genie. Don't get me wrong, the live action Aladdin was really good, but he like messed that thing up, man. They were supposed to make a sequel. I'm pretty sure that's not happening anymore. But who knows, maybe they'll like replace him. What if like Chris Rock was the genie? <gasps> well, that's enough of that. Let's get back to cake decorating. Our next cake makeover is Squidward. So for my next Walmart cake transformation, I'm creating Squidward from a Walmart six inch coconut cake. I'm just gonna use a cookie cutter to carve away some of the sides. Then I'm going to slice off a little bit of the top and repurpose it to create the bottom of his face. After that, it was all about Squidward colored buttercream. Covered my entire cake and then piped out his brow bone. And then it was time to carve. So I carved out the inside of his mouth and then just smoothed out the surface of my buttercream with my carving tools. And then I started to use my makeup applier. Silicone! This created a very nice smooth surface for Squidward's face. Then I'm gonna finish this off with fondant, but I did create his nose with buttercream. Voila, my Squidward cake was complete. Should I make Mr. Crab next? I think I should. You can totally expect to see more SpongeBob characters being transformed into cakes. I've done SpongeBob, I've done Patrick, now I've done Squidward. And slowly, I kind of want to make all of his homies. I'm pretty sure Mr. Crab is coming next. Now our last cake transformation is a Pokemon. I'm really excited about it, so let's get to it. Gengar! Gengar from Pokemon, one of my favorite Pokemon. Now to create Gengar, we're using a Walmart chocolate six inch cake. I'm gonna take out the decoration, round out the sides, and then add my Gengar purple buttercream. Now to create his horns, I'm using a chocolate chip muffin. I just cut it into triangles and then attached it to the side of the cake. I gotta eat all the cake scraps and they were delicious. Both his feet were made of buttercream, so I used my dentistry tools to really shape them. Then I moved on to his face, carved out his mouth and his eyes, then I used my best friend to smooth out the surface. You guys, I don't trust many people, but I definitely trust this makeup applier. <laughs> now it's time to add all my fondant pieces. So his mouth, two red eyes, two pupils, and two catch lights. And voila, Gengar was complete. Should I make the new starters or try to make all the Eevee evolutions? Oh my gosh, there's so many cakes I want to make. If I were to do the starters, I think I would start with Sprig... 
Sprigatito, is that it? <laughs> yeah. That cat looks so cool. But it would be so much fun to create all of the Eevees. I would definitely start with Jolteon. That was my favorite for a long time, but then Umbreon came out and I was like, yo, that's pretty cool. And Leafeon looks just so majestic. So I really don't know who I should make next. <laughs> but if you can choose, let me know in the comments. There are a ton of cakes on my bucket list, but when I was first starting out, I there were a lot of cakes that I just didn't want to attempt because I knew that I didn't have the skill to execute them. I've been wanting to make a genie cake for a really long time. He's one of the most memorable Disney characters. So when I decided to do some sculpted Walmart cakes, he was one of the first characters on my list. I feel like I should make the magic carpet with a Walmart cake. Now besides lack of skill, there are other reasons that I just don't make cakes. Gengar is one of the cakes that just ended up getting scrapped a few times. He would always be like number three on my cake list and then like I'd realize like a trending movie was coming out so I'd move him down and then I'd just add a whole bunch of other characters that I need to make. So I can't believe it's taken me this long to make a Gengar cake. From a cake decorating standpoint, Gengar is extremely easy to make. He's a very simple shape. There isn't a lot of texture and you're really only dealing with purple buttercream or fondant. A little bit of red, black, and white, but mostly purple. Also, I just love this character. I should I feel like this cake should have come out a long time ago, but there are a ton of Pokemon on my list. I want to make the first 150 so I can cross Gengar off my list. Now, I kind of taught myself how to sculpt buttercream. I didn't really know what I was doing. I didn't know what tools to use, so I bought a bunch of stuff on Wish. I don't think these were meant for sculpting buttercream, but they're stainless steel and they're really easy to use. I have favorites, but they keep on changing. So these are my two favorite sculpting tools at the moment. This like circular sculpting tool and this like dentistry scraper. I don't know what dentists use this for other than pain and to inflict pain. But these two tools scrape away just enough buttercream at just the right angle so that it creates a perfect shape. Now, if you are going to try some buttercream sculpting, you're definitely gonna need these two. But even with all of these sculpting tools, I still make a ton of mistakes. One of the mistakes I made when I was creating my genie cake was the proportions of his face. When I was piping out the buttercream to create his upper lip and eye sockets, I placed them way too low. So I had to scrape off all of that buttercream and then add those details just a little bit higher so that the proportions were right. I'm kind of curious, do you make this mistake a lot? Because I do. And I don't think I'm ever going to learn. <laughs> it just doesn't work out sometimes. When you're sculpting a face, the eyes are just like a centimeter off. The character looks different. I try my best to put everything in place the first time, but a lot of the time it doesn't work out. Fondant isn't forgiving with that stuff, but buttercream is, which is why I love working with it. Now, another thing that I learned, when I was shaping my Squidward cake, I was about to use chocolate chips to create the bottom part of his face, but then I realized that I'd cut enough cake away from the sides um, that I could reshape and create his mouth. That made me really happy because then I got to eat the entire chocolate chip muffin. You put this baby in the microwave for like six seconds and it's incredible. I think it's better than this, this entire cake. Walmart, I don't know why, but Walmart chocolate chip muffins, that's where it's at. Sometimes icing can be overwhelming, but like the chocolate chip muffin, it's, oh my gosh, it just melts, it melts so well in the microwave. After working on my Swidward cake, I kind of learned not to throw away my scraps right away. A lot of the characters that I want to create aren't circles. So I end up carving away a lot of cake on the sides, but I need to remember that I can actually take those slices and repurpose them to create the shape of the character that I'm working on. I used to do this a lot. My trash can is always on the side of my workspace. So there have been times where I would just like cut chunks out of my cake and just slide it over to the trash can. It's such a waste, you guys. It's such a waste. But now I know to save them so that I can repurpose them. This series is going to be completely subscriber based. So anything you guys comment down below could end up becoming a cake. I started this series with my Shrek cake and it was like a no-brainer that somebody would comment Fiona. I knew they would. I knew you guys so I, I made extra Shrek skin tone buttercream, but I also made some like Fiona hair color. So Fiona is going to be one of the three cakes that you see in the next video. Now, like I said in the beginning, I'm trying out a new format because I want to do more stuff on TikTok and so my YouTube video format has to change. I'm going to be starting a series where I try to understand or create a trending cake video. What are the best practices that has the ability to go viral? I don't know 
Oh, okay. I'm gonna learn. <laughs> I'm gonna try to teach myself. And in doing so, I can help you guys. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you guys. I will see you very soon. Bye.